person of the, of the hour, I should say, that we're talking about this breaking news that he has to share, and I think he's, he's ready to tell us, but you had to know more about him, that you know, you're in the fashion industry, and people don't think of Belize as fashion industry, and you are doing it. So, you know, one phenomenal. I know that you do recycled fashion, but you do other fashion too, correct? Yes, I do. I'm actually working on my summer ready-to-wear women's wear collection. So that should be out by May. By May, huh? Yeah. And what are you making those designs out of? It's reflected uh, reflective of the team we have here in Belize this year, which is the Mayas. Ah, 2012, like the end of the world. So it's reflective of the prophecy, but it's also a lot more fresh. It's it's flowy. It's it's more like influence also on the clouds because the sky's the limit, right? Oh. Oh. I love how you, you you come up with these beautiful phrases. Yeah, the sky is the limit. And and flowy things, I'm I like flowy things. <laughs> they're fresh, they're cool, they're nice to wear. You don't feel like you're not in Belize. So I wanna keep with the Belize theme too. That's beautiful. Well it's part of who you are, obviously. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you're doing you know, doing this as like a tribute basically to the, the Mayans and you know, this is the twenty twelve year, it is a big thing. It is. That's um absolutely exceptional. So we're going to want to see pictures of these things. We're going to want to know where people can order or the, you know, go and look at them to order. And so how do they find you? Well, you can find me on Facebook. Okay. You go to facebook.com slash George Hendrick. Okay. And spell your name again? All right. J-O-R-I-S-H-E-N-D-R-I-K. Okay. So it's exactly how it's spelled and how it sounds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it shouldn't be so hard, no, right? No, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Obviously, you can find Margarita Rose, and I'm going to help you, too, because I think you're fabulous. Thank you. All right, so there was something that you were telling me that's going to happen this weekend, and it's, like, big and to, to you, but I think to all of Belize, and um, it goes as far as even to England, for goodness sakes. And what is that? Yes, it does. Well, this week, specifically on Friday, the 2nd of March, His Royal Highness Prince Henry of Wales, which is better known as Prince Harry, is visiting Belize. And I actually got invited a couple of months ago by Marion Robertson, which is one of the chairs of the BTV. Yes, of course. She invited me to be a part of this event and showcase my work to Prince Harry himself. Oh, she's wonderful. That is just fantastic. And so you are going to showcase your work to Prince Henry. Yes. How does that feel? Exciting. <laughs> Something that doesn't happen every day. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, of, and how old are you? I'm 20. Oh my god. You just are like an emulation of being, um, for other people to go, wow, he can do something like this at age 20 to get to preview your fashion to Prince Harry? That's amazing. It is, it is, and especially because it's fashion with a cause, going green. That's true. That is even better, isn't it? That to me is everything that like the least stands for. Like we, we stand up for things to protect our environment, and you know we, we a lot of us actually stand up for that quite often <laughs> to make yeah. sure they stay in check. But so you're doing it with fashion on top of it. It's a whole other. It's another whole other like um, for me a whole other um, opportunity to get the word out of there how important it is to live green. It is, it is, and it's it's actually one of the ways that attracts more people to get on board with it. Because they see fashion, everybody's fascinated about the fashion world. We all look at magazines, but we never think that we could once like make a dress out of trash. It's been done before, I won't deny that, but it's never been done in Belize like that. Yeah, that's true. Very good point. It's never been done here, and you're doing it. And actually, um, you know, people can only make change or know about you know how to live green by the more information that's out exactly. there. So you're putting out positive information. You know, that's, that's a big thing. And in, to be able to do this, to you know, to be able to show this to Prince Harry? Oh my God, I mean, I want to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> that's just phenomenal. It is, it's one thing I can check off my bucket list. <laughs> I, I would say, I can only imagine, you know, what else is on your bucket list because the universe is, is really bestowing amazing gifts upon you. It is, it is. So, so your, your models are obviously gonna be part of the performance, right? Yes, they are. I'm actually, the production is called, I called it, I'm making a production, it's like we're doing a play, but it's also um, a type of fashion show. Okay. So what we're doing is puppet 
puppet and the puppeteer. Or we could also call it playing with dolls. So I'm the puppeteer, they're gonna be the puppets as, or the dolls, okay. and I get to put on some jackets and shoes on them and prepare them for them to meet the prince. So. That's just phenomenal. And so they, uh, it's a performance actually. It's, yes. it's, so basically it's a performance art thing. It's, it's yes, it is. Yeah, it is. it's interesting. It, it makes it more interesting having a storyline behind it other than just having the girls stand there like live mannequins. It adds like a different touch to it and also the other people present get to see that and experience it as well as the prince once he arrives. That's just got to be so exciting too for him, you know, to do some, to be able to see something like this that's, you know, it's like something off the books. It's not something that's common day. No, and it's not something you'll see on his entire visit, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely won't. <laughs> You're bringing him something that's definitely yes. very unique. So what about the models? Well, the models are all Belizean. They're from different ethnic groups here in the country. Are they excited? They are definitely excited. <laughs> <laughs> we all can't wait to for Saturday to come here, although it will be a long day, a long weekend, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, that's just only a, that's just a few days away. Are they even sleeping? <laughs> I told them to. <laughs> you need sleep. It's important. <laughs> oh, that's right. They need that, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. <laughs> oh, well, they're just going to show up and smile. That's very important. Yes. And what about you? Are you sleeping? I am. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'm sleeping all my eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. I don't know how. I'm so excited for you. I don't know if I'm going to sleep. I don't know how I'm going to sleep on Friday, <laughs> the day before the event. I we got to wake up at like 3.30 to start going to hair and makeup. In the morning? Yes. Oh. They got to be ready by 7.30, so. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, they better be sleeping a lot right now. <laughs> no, no, no bashing this weekend. No, no bashing. <laughs> no thirsty Thursday. <laughs> no, no greedy's pizza. <laughs> no greedy's pizza either. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe they have to eat dinner. You know, we don't want to do it without our greedy salad. Pizza. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> there are models. You want to keep them in their little, you know, in their figures or whatever. But um, I know that I got to meet one of the models yesterday. Yes. And she really is beautiful. She does glow. And and what was really nice about it is that. You know, she was such an awe that she gets to have this opportunity, but very down to earth about it. Yes, she was. I like that. What was her name? Tressie. Tressie Castellanos. Tressie Castellanos. I have, I have to say, I was very impressed how down to earth she was and and calm about it and very respectful, humble. Yes, because it's interesting because a lot of girls would kill to be in their position, but they're just humble about it. Mm -hmm. Like we're meeting the prince, but that's that's it. It's a great honor, and we're, it's going to be a pleasure, and we're going to have fun. <laughs> but they're chills. not bragging about it, or like, okay. oh, I'm better than you. No. And that's what I look when I look for when I get to choose a model. I want a personality, and I look for humility. That's what makes a person beautiful. That's true. I think you've done very well in choosing those models. All right, so we're going to take a little break here in just a few minutes or a few seconds, but I want to ask you a question when we come back. Can you stick around for a minute or Sure. Two? Okay, or well, two or three minutes. Definitely. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so I'm your host, Macarena Rose. We are here today with Doros in San Ignacio, Belize, talking about his passion in Belize. So stay tuned. I've got some more information to give to you. It's just way too good. You're listening to Don't Leave Your Brain at the Border on Overseas Radio Network. 